All right, Shaholics, welcome back to another episode. Today it is another beautiful day down here in sunny Florida. We're going to try and get out in the kayak and fish around the mouth of the St. Lucie River and as well as the St. Lucie Inlet and where the intercoastal in intersects with that. And uh, I've only fished here one other time and I actually found big fish but didn't catch any. And uh, I would say the last two weeks has been going on just like that. I've probably scrapped like six to eight different videos I tried to film because uh, we found nice fish but just failed to catch any. So it was kind of like boring content because obviously I can't really film what's going on under the water as well as like what I'm seeing visually. So uh, today <laughs> let's just try and get this ball rolling and uh, turn this fishing and filming around. All right, kayak is in the water and I'm um, kind of stoked we've got a new Tsunami Armor spinning reel to break in today. And also before we get started, huge shout out to Top Fishing Deals for sponsoring today's video. And if you haven't heard me mention them in some of my other vids, they are basically a brand new site that's gonna be uploading daily the best fishing deals on the internet across all brands and all types of fishing gear and tackle. So if you're trying to save money and fish better, definitely check them out. I'll put the link in the top of the description. Now let's jump in, let's get out there. Hope we catch some fish and have some luck on our side today. All right. And we're underway. Yesterday I tried filming and uh, we fished a great spot, but uh, guess what? I forgot my pedals and it really made me respect having them. All right, so we're gonna be heading about a mile to the southeast and uh, what's nice is we've got the end of the outgoing tide, so we're going with the tide and then later on, on our way back in, we'll be going in with the tide. And uh, I think we're gonna throw out this uh, Rapala that I just picked up from Walmart because I had to go there and renew my saltwater license for 50 bucks. And uh, we're just gonna troll our way to our destination so we at least can cover a bunch of water in between. And I think we'll have some potential to possibly catch some jacks, barracudas, ladyfish, maybe a rogie snook cruising out here. Eventually, once we get to our destination, then we'll be targeting primarily snook. Oh, fish on. That didn't take long. It's gonna be a, probably a jack or a bluefish or something. Something little and spunky. Ooh. Whoa, there's a shark grabbing him. <laughs> it's pulling good now. No way, it's a Spanish. Yeah, it's a keeper too. Yeah, boys, <laughs> we got dinner. Oh, and he just came off the hook. Yes, that is sweet. That is what I'm talking about. Totally surprised, I love that. That is a gorgeous fish right there. Whew, good thing I got my cooler. This will be good. Wrapped up in some tin foil with some lemon, pepper, garlic. Put it in the oven or on the grill. All right, well that right there is one reason why I love fish in Florida. It's like a box of chocolates and sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> All right, well let's throw this Rapala back out there and get back on the troll. We're gonna go about like another quarter mile maybe, and then we're gonna start working this bank, which is a little bit further down. So today is like a 10 out of 10 perfect day to get out here in the kayak. And even though it's Florida and it can be like say 75 to 80 degrees every day in the winter, uh, well, it still can be really, really windy because it is winter. And uh, I would say like last time we were out here was probably like a week and a half ago. We've fished other areas in the kayak that are like more isolated, but this is like so wide open. If you have a wind, say, whipping straight out of the east or a wind uh, whipping out of the north or west, like it can just churn up this water and make it so big, it's not gonna be nice out here in the kayak. And it wouldn't even be out nice out, out here in a boat. And that's why uh, we're gonna probably get waked pretty much all day long, you know, because there's gonna be a ton of boaters out here. And it's like a Wednesday, it's not even a weekend, but, uh, it's the name of the game, so we just gotta keep an eye out, make sure we don't get hit, and uh, it's gonna be a ride, and hopefully find some more fish today. You got my line. Come 
Well, there goes a brand new Rapala. Went right behind me. All right, well, good thing I bought two. Part of fishing so long, you never buy one of any bait that looks good. All right, well, let's try this again. That was the quickest uh, $10 Rapala I've lost ever before. I'm gonna troll down a little bit further. Actually, I think maybe, never mind. We're gonna reel it up right here. We're gonna pull the kayak and I think we're gonna try and do some surf fishing. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the head cam, put it on the chesty, and we're gonna grab a rod and like various soft plastics and the Rapalas, and we're gonna head towards the inlet now and see if we can sight fish some snook. Last time I was here, which was my first time, we saw like some real tanker snook, but uh, unfortunately we were only able to get like one little one. And for whatever reason, those snook seemed like they were line shy, lure shy, bait shy, because we used live shrimp and they had no interest in that. So um, today we're gonna see if it's a different result. Oh, this looks really juicy right here. Oh, got a follower. Ah, oh, he turned at the last second. I don't, what the? It's about like a 20, 25 incher. All right, well, we're gonna keep moving along the rocks. Pretty sweet that we already saw a fish. And uh, I'm assuming as we keep moving along, we should spot some more. They like to sit real tight to the rocks. Looks like a small snook sitting right under this rock here. There he is. Oh my gosh, what? No, no. How did he come off? What? That was so cool though. I wish you guys were here to see that. This rock right here is like second one out. It's like overhanging and it looked like a small snook. I just saw the tail of that fish. But as soon as this Rapala came swimming by, he jumped out and just nailed it. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. Whole school of snook right to the right of that rock out on the end. Oh my gosh, they followed it in, but oh, my first cast stunk. Oh, he hit it, damn it. Oh, that was such a nice fish. It was like 30 inches. All right, well, those fish are still there, but they've smartened up. So we're gonna keep, well, actually, uh, see another fish cruising. There he is, got him. Yeah, boys, finally. What? Oh, oh, oh man, I can't win today. <sighs> it wasn't a giant, but he was like 25 inches. There was a bigger one below him. I thought it was that one for a sec. Two big ones cruising right here. Oh, they one, oh my God, there's six of them. Six. One of them flared at it on the first time. Come on, come on, come on, please, babies. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, they didn't show a whole lot of interest. Looks like a few more back here. There's another one. Yeah. There's a little guy. But it's a snooky finally. All right. Well, we got the baby. Now we just got to get this guy's mother and uh, we'll be having a great day. Another one. Oh, he's a little guy. Even smaller than the one we caught. All right, well, let's keep moving. We got plenty more jetty to fish. Oh. I don't see any snook here, but there could still be some fish. Oh, got hit, got hit. Oh, I see a big one that just creeped out of the dark water. Oh, 
Oh man, crushed it. All right, well, we're taking a little intermission because the GoPro overheated and powered down. And um, fortunately, we're getting quite a few bites, a lot more bites than we had last time we were here when we were fishing artificials and we also had live shrimp. We did catch one last time, like we just caught one today, but uh, we're having a lot more engagement and it just seems like the fish want to eat the bait, but they're just a little shy and they're just nipping at that back treble hook on the Rapala. But uh, it's good that we're getting that engagement. So I'm hoping that in the next 30 minutes to an hour, um, something nice will happen and we'll hook into a good fish. We got about 20 yards left of the jetty to fish and then we'll probably fish our way back. And then, um, you know, maybe either call it a day depending on what we catch uh, in a little bit or uh, keep on grinding it out in the kayak. So I'm just gonna wait until this cools down and then we'll get back at it. Jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. They didn't eat it, and I couldn't really see with the water getting churned up if they were engaged or not. They could just be rocks. I'm not really sure. This water's pretty murky here. There's one. They were fish. Yeah. Heck yeah. This is a small one, of course. There's some tankers in there. There's three snook following this one. <laughs> That's so cool. This guy's a little bit bigger. Not by much though. Try and get down nice and close. See you later. I'm gonna try on the ocean side here. Never know, it could be something just cruising. Oh yeah. Big snook, right here. Big snook. Oh, he's engaged too. Was totally engaged. Oh, I spooked him. Oh, that one hit it though. Ooh, that was crazy. I spooked the really big one because the line went over his back and then this guy cruised in and crushed it. All right, nice. We're getting a little bit bigger. There you go. And to be honest, that's actually my first ocean caught snook. Look at the difference in coloration just from being on the ocean side versus inside the inlet. So sick. All right, about ready to go again. Put on another four foot section of 30 pound fluoro. And I, I would say 30 is probably like on the lighter end of what I would use typically for these conditions. But being that the water is clear and the fish are finicky, I'm, I'm trying just to get bites and go on the lighter side of things. And it's paying off. So let's keep uh, working the ocean side here a little bit longer and then we go back on the inside and start working our way back. Nice one. Feels nice. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a really small snook. What is this little baby doing out here? This is like shark bait. You gotta kind of be like a little parkour when fishing the rocks like this. Looks like the tide is slowing up just a little. That might be good. Sometimes the really big fish are the laziest. There he is. That's a bigger one. Heck yeah. But yeah, but the bigger fish wait till the very end of the tide to feed when there's just a little bit of current and they have the best opportunity to feed. Dang it, man, lost them. These fish are turning on right now and we're screwing up. Whoa, ho, ho. That's a nice one. Never mind, he's tiny. What? <laughs> oh, and he came off. What? All right, these hooks are absolutely trash. They look sharp and they feel sharp, but I don't know, for whatever reason, they suck. We're going to try putting on another Rapala with some stronger and sharper hooks. All right, let's try this Rapala here. I replaced the stock hooks with something different. I'm not entirely sure what hooks they are, but they're a lot stronger. I've caught 
10 pound jacks up on this uh, single rip rappel without even budging the, those hooks, so. You know, this is kind of crazy. I think these snook are actually being color selective right now because I just took about 30 casts of this all in the same zones on the ocean side, inside, and uh, not a single follow or bite. So I guess we got to switch back to the other color. There he is. That's crazy. He inhaled it. Oh my gosh. Look at how he ate it too. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. Oh. I can't believe it. We are just one unlucky person today. And to be honest, like the last like week and a half, two weeks of fishing and filming have been serious doozies. And that's why I haven't been really uploading consistently. Uh, we've been just having a ton of bad luck. And that was probably like the third biggest fish today. And, um, you know, we lost the hot bait now. And we, I got two of them, and we lost that one on a boat. And um, the only reason we even had that fish probably on is because the bait got lodged in his mouth with like the top of the bait on like the roof of his mouth and the lower, the back of the bait on his lower jaw. So his mouth is like stuck open and I saw him swimming away and he's probably like, what the heck is going on? So hopefully that fish can unlodge that bait, but I don't think his chances are too good with two treble hooks on that one bait. Uh, but I mean, those hooks suck, so maybe he'll be able to shake it free and he'll survive. But I think we're gonna start working our way back now because uh, the tide's coming in and being that our luck isn't really in our favor today. I don't want that kayak leaving the beach uh, without us on it because this tide comes up really quick. Something just busted water over there. I don't know if you saw it, but um, yeah, we're gonna put on one of the other Rapalas, start working back, see if we can get uh, a couple more fish. There's one. Baby. Don't worry folks, I'm not gilling them, I'm just holding them by the gill plate. And now we're just gonna toss them right back, nice and easy. All right, well we fished our way back and we had two more bites, but uh, nothing crazy. Saw a few other fish, but couldn't get them to bite. And it looks like we got back just in time. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do now, switch back to the head cam, jump in the kayak, and uh, since we've got that Spanish in the cooler, it's still pretty cool in there, but I want to, um, you know, get that cut up and uh, either eat it or on some ice pretty soon. So we're gonna start paddling our way back. I guess we'll troll, like look how high this water is coming up now. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get on the troll on the way back to the launch. All right, well, unfortunately on the troll back, uh, not a single bite. And uh, we had plenty of time to reflect on our day. I would say we should go get some more Rapalas, change out the stock hooks with stronger and sharper hooks. And uh, the Tsunami armor here performed pretty well in the morning hours. And then towards the afternoon, like it's around like 1.30 right now, uh, I started getting like a little grinding in the reel for whatever reason. So we're gonna have to take that apart, clean it. I don't know if it's salt or sand. Uh, and if it's not, then it might just be the reel itself. And uh, you probably won't see me using it much more. But um, I'll put all my tackling equipment down in the description below. Be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed, and like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live.